Yeah, I'm the last one. Great. Um, so this is our skiff. This is the boat that James um, and our other worker, Jose, just went out on. Mm -hmm. um, and they take these kelp cages. We can fit about six onto the boat. And um, each cage holds about 300 pounds of kelp. And we get about, I don't know, a couple tons of kelp every week. Um, maybe 24 cages a week. And uh, it's mostly macrocystic. We have about three kelp beds that we harvest from. Um, along down that way, uh, past the rainwater. And we're able to feed our whole farm with about 25 to 30 cages of kelp because we got 200,000 uh, hungry abalone that, that need it all up. Sweet. Yeah, so our equipment is about here. Uh, yeah, if you want to come see the farm, I can take you down this way. Just watch your head. Yeah, lots of stuff around them. Um, the farm consists of six walkways. Each one has two rows of, of cages. And every line you see with a clip there, that's one of our abalone cages, like the new one you saw upstairs. Um, we have like 250 cages, it's about 200,000 abalone. And we start them off about an inch big. Um, we spawn them out in Moss Landing. And then when they get about an inch big, we put them down on row 12 at the very end. And as they get bigger, we start thinning them and moving them forward. Uh, so here we'll have our bigger abalone, like our half pounders. I don't know if you saw on our menu, we had like six year olds, seven year old, eight year olds. Uh, that's, this is the road where you, where you find those big abalones. And um, I got a few here. Once they get to like a harvestable size, then we put them in these harvest barrels. Um, this one's almost empty, but we got some third pounders in here. Um, Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is Rory. He's another one of our farmers. He's harvesting abalone nice. right now. Are those 95? 95 millimeter and 50 or 85 millimeter. Yeah, so we got a few different sizes. I'll let him put those. Cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have yeah. So if you guys, I don't know if you've already held abalone today, but um. They have not. They have not. Great. If you want to hold an abalone, I can pass it around. Um, anyone want to? Who wants a tickle? <laughs> Who wants yeah, a tickle? Yeah. Um, you can say. Ooh, how much food is? Um, So if you guys haven't held one, you guys should check them out. Check check out the um, eye stalks. Check out. Wow, that looks like uh, not PG-13. <laughs> nice, good. You're perfect for the video. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. That is so cool. Right, so, so they're growing, they're laying down show like that. Is it kind of spiral larger? Little. Tendrils are. Right. So every stripe of shell they get kind of reflects what they've been eating. So if they're eating a lot of red algae, they'll get red stripes. If they're eating a lot of green algae, they'll get greenish, bluish stripes. This one you can tell has been eating a lot of brown algae, but the giant kelp, so it's pretty brown in color on the shell. Right. So you guys said you have how many, I mean, roughly at any one time, how many individuals? About 200,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the water, um, it's, a, it's about 25 feet deep right here, and it's maybe a quarter mile out into the bay. Uh, so we get a lot of good water flow that allows them to be very happy, uh, especially when there's upwelling time and the water is really moving. The abalone are really happy here if we keep their pages clean. Cool. Um, yeah, we have to work a lot around the ocean. So um, another thing that makes this farm unique is that we have this shade here. Most abalone farms are in tanks on land, mm -hmm. so they have to deal with sunlight. They gotta have shade somehow. So this kind of protects protects us from the elements. Uh, it has to protect our workers from the rain, protect the abalone from the sun. So we can have an abalone cage up for a few hours before um, we start getting dry, and we have a lot of time to like, work with them. Um, I'm sorry, 